I did my PhD in artificial intelligence and robotics. Okay. So now you seem to have given a lot of talks on Bhagavad Sankhya. So was that a particular area of interest you developed over time as a as we could say? No, you say that uh, in the beginning, you know, we were, you know, we saw our teacher was preaching. And he is able to use the scientific concept to uh, divert our attention to Krishna. That means he used science to get us attracted to Krishna. Hmm. So, so we also followed the same thing because after I finished my PhD, I went to Pittsburgh. I preached there for four years. So we have the same style. We'll make our slides based on Origin magazine. And and go out and, and preach. Those days, you know that you make those slides, and mm. those. Uh, so these are different way of presentation. In fact, I remember I, I used to even go to Siri Pilani and present among all those uh, big shirts, and they will shout at me, "You are talking all uh, junk." And still, I will be very passionate uh, uh, advocating what I am saying is right. And uh, during Pilani, Rasras who came to Pilani and gave a lecture. And there he told that we can also interpret scientific data. See, data cannot be wrong. Data has been collected. They are right. Okay. But we can give interpretation to the data. Okay. So that led me uh, to have a stint in BI from 1999 to 2000. Okay. So, so I saw another perspective and all kudos to Rasaraj Prabhu that um, he brought out uh, uh, the idea that we can also contribute to the science. And, uh, and then I... Uh, left for Germany. From Germany, I came to IIT Kanpur. And now I'm here last 20 years in IIT Kanpur. Oh, okay. So is your direct field connected with science and spirituality or it is more of a science and spirituality is the area of research that he used, is an area of study that he used for introducing people to spirituality? You see that uh, what happened, uh, you know, over these 20 years, I am in IIT Kanpur, one is that once you are in IIT, uh, you have to uh, continue doing research. Stabilize yourself as a profession. Yes. That means you have to compete with your peers. Yes. Number one. Number two is that you have to uh, convert or uh, not convert, you have to preach to fellow students uh, who are coming to IIT campus. Uh, so these two really occupied me because uh, my house was a temple. So every day, five o'clock, Manglarti, and then chanting Bhagavad Gita, Bhagavatam class, and then everybody goes to their classes. Again in the evening, Bhagavad Gita class. And while doing that and maintaining professional life, uh, you know, sucked all my energy. It was. Hmm. But what happened in the process is that. Uh, I uh, kind of gave a lot of time to Prabhupada purpose. And based on that, I, at some point of time, I realized that there is no matter the way the scientists are talking. Everything is a form of consciousness. So that was the first awakening. This happened to me in 2008 or 2009 when I was in Zurich as a visiting professor. And uh, slowly, slowly, uh, you know, uh, I realized that uh, the, some of the uh, limiting point from my perspective, using my own field of research AI, uh, that where science has uh, met the dead end. Science has? Met the dead end. Okay. That means it is not able to progress further. 
Okay, right. So, so, mm -hmm. so this, so these these are some and uh, and then you know you 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 already know that uh, uh, I took interest in Gurukul because uh, of my interest to set up a university. In two thousand eleven, I had given a white paper to GBC body in Mayapur that we must have an ISKCON operated university. And these are the, these are the goal why we should uh, uh, set up an university. And, uh, and of course, once you think of setting up an university, you must have an agenda. Because I cannot set up an university the way all universities, because there are so many universities already there. Mm. What extra or new that we can offer to people? So you have to create an agenda, research agenda. Okay. So this, because, and from, you know, we got involved with Vedanta Guru Kul since 2010. So it's a long 11 years. Uh, and there is a lot of uh, brainstorming within me with, uh, with my students uh, about what should be the agenda if we have to set up a university. Yeah. 